He has bullet swarm, standard shots with the primary weapon, no longer end the turn if taken as the first action. So he fired first, and then moved and turned invisible. I like it. Few man, we need you to be invisible. Or er, not invisible, we need you to move up. Fire Lord, you're reloaded. Can I actually send you up? I can send you up. We're going to send you up. I'm just looking around at where to send him, and it's like, if there's like six guys on the left side, one being invisible. So one invisible dude moves up, and then five regular guys move up with him. Or two. I think there's a dude right on that corner, so i got to be careful here. Erlo, how far can you move as your invisible state? That far. Well, we'll take it. Invisible is invisible, so who cares, you know? And then we can move up Zhang. Nobody. Can you jet boost? Yes, you can. Jet boost. Do it. Nice. And I want you right there. It'd be cool if he jumped across instead of uh, jumped down and then jumped back up. That would have been f way cooler. I have the horrible feeling that I'm going to run into the giant metal robot that shoots lasers. I'm kind of afraid I'm going to run into him. Few man. Mm. There's an enemy over there. Oh, hey! A couple of Thin Men. Funny. Of all the enemies to send after me, a Thin Men. Oh, golly. You have no chance of hitting them, and you can't see them. Well, we're going to do that. We're going to move the invisible guy forward one more, because that's as far as he can go invisible. I could have jumped him here, technically, and then ran him up. Oh, well. You really need to reload. Can I move you up and not see anyone? Okay. We're going to reload you. I don't want you here. We're going to get you out and make them come to us. I have a sniper up on the roof. I'm not going to I'm not going to take 16% shot chances with a sniper on the roof. Okay. Fire Lord. I swear that curved. It was like, woo! See, this is what happens when you have a sentinel in the zone sniper. You just can't stop him. He's just... He averages like four kills at level. It's ridiculous. But no one can stop him. No one can slow him down. He just does it. Okay, I want to... How does this work? I don't think there's a way down from the other side. Well, there, there. You have to like completely get to the other side to drop down. Um, let's do it. Jet boots. Go as far into that cloud as you can. He jumps all the way down. This is like three floors. He just jumped up. He's the secret weapon because I think there's a giant robot in the next in this squad bay here. Nothing. We're gonna overwatch you. We're gonna grab the invisible man. Sprint him up. Uh, Mr. Sniper. Where do I want you, Mr. Sniper? Honestly, I want you to stay where you are. To be honest. Here, just stay up there. You're our eyes in the sky. And then all my snipers. I'm just loading everyone on that door. So I got the one guy on the roof ready to... I got this guy on the roof ready to jump down and, and shoot from the other side. Over there? That, that could technically be directly underneath him, to be honest. 
Okay, invisible. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what we're up against. Yep, giant robot. Giant robot. Question, can you... Oh gosh, how many enemies are there? Oh, my goodness. Giant robot, other robot, at least one sectoid, and then two floaters. Or two, uh, whatever the hell they're called. Okay, well in that case, we're going to move you here. And you're just going to hang out. You. You are the secret weapon. Be ready. Okay. Um... Sid, you are the other secret weapon. No, don't run through, don't run through, don't be seen, don't be seen, don't be seen. Uh, that scared me really bad. I was like, great, my guy's going to be seen and blow all this cover, or all this uh, setup. That would have been sad. The goal here is to, honestly, lob a grenade or two in first. Do me a favor and don't move. Just stay there. Because here's the thing. I have Zhang with me. Now, Zhang has a guided plasma rocket. Which means I can do something rude like this. Yeah. I just got an achievement. I don't even know what that was for. No idea where that came from, that achievement. I want you guys to honestly just overwatch. Zhang's got a lot more where that came from. Yeah, you especially don't move. These two are like, what the heck, man? Can he jump up? No. No, he's just kind of fidgeting. What about you? Oh, they're both fidgeting. Nice. Um, are they too far apart to hit them both with that one now? Yeah, sadly. Although I could just be a cheeky... A cheeky devil and uh come on that I'm just being cheeky at this point Zhang is just laying waste doing a ton of extra damage only three though that sucks you know I've got an idea the idea was to have these guys ambush him on the other side, and then he was going to drop down as they turned to fight, and then he was just going to start laying waste to him from behind. There's no point in doing that. I can just set all these guys here like that. And these guys just sit here and fidget. Okay. If he would move over next to him, I would love that. Just move like right there. No. Plan B involves proximity mines. I dare you to move again. Such a mean thing to do. I love it. Grenade out. I'm just slowly breaking him down. And what I'll do is 
you don't have the ability I want is the problem. Move. Almost died. Oh gosh. If I can land one here, this will be adorable. Oh, come on. Here. That's affirmative. All right, now can you? No, now you're blocking, blocked completely. You can nail him, but that's it. Fine. Um, good sir, Jang, Mr. Shredder Rocket Dude. Okay, he's dead for sure. He is weakened. Shredded. He's dead. And here's where it gets fun. Uh, Sid, good sir. Boo. Sup. Goosh. Goosh. Sid shoots twice. Ow. Excellent work. How did he All take... Alright, well. Took a little damage from that. Oh, well. The worst is when you run into one of those giant robots in the middle of a forest because there's nothing to hide behind. You're behind half cover and he just destroys your cover and... He, like, destroys the cover and hits you, and then hits you again Our with no cover. It's like... Let's hope they don't get too cocky. <laughs> I just love how Zhang sat behind the thing with his grenades. He's just like... Sectopod autopsy. If I remember right. Oh, hang on. Unless I'm mistaken, this gives me something good. Advanced construction? Don't know what that does. Muton Elite, gotta do that one. As if the standard Muton hadn't given us enough trouble, the aliens apparently kept several of these elites in waiting for the later stages of their invasion. Plasma weaponry, of course it was. Fusion Lance, which or the Plasma Pistol. We're going to go Plasma Pistol. Because, yeah. The other one's for a giant gun for my ships that I'm never going to use. So it's like, who cares? I got 25 meld. Visit the Gene Lab. Add Soldier. I want to give... Erlo Sid. Oh, he has Bioelectric. Oh, Zhang has bioelectric as well. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep Why not? immediately. Once the genetic Oh, foundry. Foundry. I will notify you directly. Uh, yes. Alien grenades, please. Could be repurposed to accelerate XCOM vehicle and facility construction at a significant cost. 300 bucks, 30 aurelium alloy, two sect, two? I have to kill another one? Good heck. Improved arc thrower. Sure, why not? Because technically, I don't really need the parts anymore because I'm far enough in the game. It's like, who cares? I think that allows me to build shivs. I'll make sure production begins immediately. Which I wouldn't mind having a couple 